reach the island. Hello. For quite some time now, I've had a lot of trouble with bubbles in my resin. So I uh, did a little research into vacuum chambers, which are crazy expensive and huge. And I didn't need anything like that. Because <laughs> we use, what, less than an ounce of resin in our little applications? At least I do. I don't use giant, massive amounts. I, maybe an ounce, if that. So, I found a little vacuum pump. This is $20. I found it on Amazon. However, it does not come with any power supply. So, I've been kind of dragging my feet on that. And some advice from friends that just didn't sound safe, let me put it that way. And the power supply I may need is about $50. Why? So this summer I will rummage around and look for a power supply that is cheaper, that will serve my needs for this. Um, I think it needs like 4 volts or something like that. I can't remember. I, I looked it up. So this is sitting, waiting to uh, work. Then I was looking around, I think I just ran across a video on YouTube that showed a um, manual vacuum pump used for food storage. And I found one at Walmart. It was on sale for $15. I went back and checked again, and it was on sale for like twelve fifty, but they're out of them. And it comes with three uh, containers. They're airtight containers, and this is the pump thing. Okay, I they have another one on sale for like twelve fifty, but they're bowls. They're not like little cylinders like this, they're, they're, they're bowls, and uh, it's called Zevron, Z-E-V-R-O-N, I think, or something like that. Look for vacuum for uh, food storage, Google that, and you should find something like this. And I tried it once, it actually worked. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was really, really surprised. Because um, once I got it, I thought this would be clear. It's described as clear. It is not clear. It is frosted. Um, but uh, the way I did this, it still worked. So it has a like a valve thing on the top. And when you put this on, and you pump it, pump it, pump it, it takes all the air out. And... Uh, it got rid of my bubbles, or most of them, I should say, um, enough to make me happy with a casting. These locks come off like this. Oops, even that little bit of vacuuming. I suck a little piece of poster tack at the bottom to hold the little resin cup in the bottom. Because this does move a little bit as you're pumping, and I didn't want anything spilling in there. Um, so I don't know if you want to see this or not. I will try to give you a demonstration, and um, you can see how this worked for less than $20. Okay, let me mix up a little resin, and I'll show you my problem and how this gave me a solution. Okay, even if I mix slowly, which I uh, have trouble discerning, I still get tons and tons of bubbles. And if I let it sit and um, degas on its own, it starts curing. Bubbles never ever come out. So, I'm using an Envirotex light, which I like. I blow in it, you know, 
carbon dioxide breaks the bones on the surface, but still, still have a lot of trouble getting bubbles out of there. Or waiting and hoping and praying and please, please go away, bubbles. All right, so I found, used the smallest container that came with the set. I don't know how many ounces this is. 14 ounces. I'm sure there are some maybe even smaller than this. Um, the bone in it. <laughs> Get this sticky a little bit. It did kind of help. Or you could use maybe a really warm, sticky piece of polymer clay. Stick this in there. Get it really stuck in there. Put the top on. Clamp it down. Oh, okay. I have to stand up for this. Put the pumpy thing on here. Can you see this? I don't know. I move back, move up. There. Pump this. Hold it down. Try to keep it steady. Woohoo! <laughs> You're going to feel it gets harder and harder. There's more air. It comes out. is worth it. Then I let it sit for a few minutes. Pump it again. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. That's all. That's all you need, 10 minutes. Okay, let's see. We have, I can see a bunch of bubbles gathering on the top. If it still looks too bubbly to you, you can always, you know, put the top back on and repump it. Here is a big reveal. Got to unclamp this. This valve here, it, it's pretty clever. It's a silicone, um, like a cap. And then this lid has little holes under the cap. So when you lift, hear it? The air goes back in. Or the air stays out. Oh, it's still really bubbly. Oh, no, it's all on the top. You can see the bubbles have come to the surface. So if I give it a little shot of carbon dioxide, they will break. Or if I had a flame, I had one of those, uh, you know, one of those barbecue lighter things, which I don't. I thought I did, but I don't. Stick that in there. It would pop a lot of them. I'm going to do this again. I swear to God, it worked, you guys. I probably didn't wait long enough. If you can see this, can you see that there are like two layers? Definitely two layers. That top layer is all bubbles. 
like whipped cream. Amazing. Okay, I'm waiting long enough. It has sucked so hard that these these little clips have they won't even hold because it's sucked in. <laughs> so. Pretty smart. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Much, much, much better. They are to the side, all the little bubbles. See if you can get a little shot of this. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically clear. There are a few bubbles to the side of the cup that you can just get out. Take out. Get rid of. And then pour your casting. Or give it a flame, which I can't do because I don't have one. And that's that. This took 15 minutes maybe. It's a little tiny, you know, bit of resin, maybe a half ounce. I haven't tried it with any more than that. <clears throat> if you have a man in the house, I'm sure they could get a whole lot even more air out of it than I could. Okay. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. That's way better than I've been getting. Um, so that's it. See, this thing says on the top here, it says, where is that? Vacuum saver. That's what this is called, vacuum saver. So, found it at Walmart. You might be able to find it at other online stores. I don't know. Pretty cool, but it's food storage, vacuum food storage. That's all. Have a nice week. I'm doing some research for um, a video I, I want to make next week. It, uh, <laughs> it could be great. It could be a disaster. I don't know. It's doesn't. It's not making something. It is just information. Um, about the law <laughs> and uh, you know I'm trying to um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm I'm right about something before I say it and so far I haven't found anything to indicate I'm not so I'll see you then talk to you later this is really something else very neat have a great week. Stay happy, stay inspired. I love you all. Bye-bye.